Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey everybody, the old captain here, and this is assholeconsulting.com. If you have a question, go to assholeconsulting.com and send me your question and your money. I charge, and then for the love of God, people, you gotta let me know when you pay, because if you don't, I'm not gonna spend my days looking to find out if you did or not. And then I hear people like, well, were you gonna get back to me? Were you gonna let me know? So if you have a request and you pay, let me know. So um, it's all there in the instructions. <clears throat> Hi, Aaron. As per ballroom dancing comments, I'm interested in a video request on the below question. To learn ballroom dancing, why are Fred Astaire and Arthur Murray inadequate and in some cases detrimental? I'm currently attending Arthur Murray, and they do a combination of private lessons, group classes, and once a week uh, open dance party. Um, <clears throat> no, there's, uh, that's not. People do that. That's, that's okay. I believe they have done a decent job teaching me the fundamentals, but similar to the request in previous videos, what is taught can be difficult to put into practice when actually dancing, and there are a lot of patterns in my head that can make the dancing somewhat confusing rather than effortless. I feel like I have a good potential to become a good ballroom dancer, but want to make sure that I learn the right way so my time and money, which was not cheap, was not completely wasted. Would like a video request, and please keep my name anonymous. Uh, please let me know price would be best. Okay, well, thank you. Um, <clears throat> here's here's the, the ballroom dance in Royal Account. I've explained. There's your two main ballroom dance companies, uh, franchises, Arthur Murray and Fred Astaire. And um, they are the professional ballroom dancers. And you can still have fun. You could, you'll, you'll learn how to dance. Uh, but that is the professional world. And then you go into competitions. And there's bronze, silver, and gold. There may even be platinum now. I don't know. And their goal is to basically turn you into a performance type dancer. You don't have to. Uh, you could go to their dance parties that they have. Um, but they, they will hound and, and hammer away at style and holding your hand a certain way and all that. So that's the professional world. Then there's street dancing. Uh, you could call it slang, I guess. And that's where you just go salsa dancing. You could just go swing dance. You go to a club. Obviously, if you go and take a dance class through Arthur Murray or Fred Astaire, it's going to help you. My big problem with those type of ballroom uh, dance instruct is that it's for it's primarily for competition, and if you're learning learning it just to be social, it's not as fun. On top of it, it's a lot cheaper. It's just easier to go to like your local community education class. That's what I taught, or to go to these ballroom uh, uh, to go to these dances, and nine out of ten times they'll have some kind of instructor teaching a basic, um, that uh, you know a basic step, a basic move. In a ballroom dance, and you know you're not you're not going to be good that first night, but that's how I learned. And what you do is usually people are very friendly. Uh, they'll dance with you. You'll learn. Um, before YouTube came out, I would take my camcorder, big ass honking VHS, and film people doing moves, and I'd go back and uh, reverse engineer them, figuring out how how to do them myself, how to lead it, what would the girl be doing, stuff like that. Uh, so you you do have to put a fair amount of effort into it. It's a little bit easier now with YouTube. But I personally would say just go ballroom dancing. Just go to the swing club. Go to the salsa club. Learn bachata on the side. Um, pick it up on YouTube. That's what I would do because it's cheaper and funner. Now, <clears throat> some people like the more structured environment, like that you're going to get in a Fred Astaire or a, um, Arthur Marie ballroom uh, dance environment. And certainly go ahead and do that, but, you know, it is expensive. But it really boils down to what I would say, you know, do you want to compete if that's the case? Yes, go Arthur Murray Ball or um, one of the professional deals. If you just want to have fun, you just want to meet girls and pick up girls, just go learn. Just go out dancing. That's, that's really where it is, and that's really where it's fun. You won't be as polished or refined, and your nose won't be. I mean, I remember <clears throat> I learned tango under a guy who was from that type of school. I, I, I don't even think he was at any one of those particular uh, ballroom studios, but he he was it was all about form and you know spending hours on holding your leg the right way and holding your back a certain way and you know, I know it's tango I know it's got to look a certain way but Jesus Christ it wasn't fun uh, and and um, I think they they try to teach something that would you'll learn intuitively on your own you'll have style you'll learn to hold yourself but what you gotta do is you gotta do the footwork and then lead. 
<laughs> Got to know the moves. Uh, now, as for all these moves and routines and choreographies you have in your head, that's another thing that you're going to run into the Fred Astaire and Arthur Murray ballroom dancers. They, they teach choreography. Uh, I do a lead and follow. When I go out dancing, I don't know what move I'm going to do. I, I go out, I do a basic step, and then there's a pre-lead that gives the girl a heads up um, before you actually deliver the real lead to the move so she's able to follow it easier. And then I execute the move. And I don't have any routine or, okay, I do this move and I do that move. A lot of ballroom uh, dance instruction places, street dancing or not, will teach you a routine. So you do this move, then you do that move, then you do this move. And that helps, but it also kind of locks your brain into thinking, I have to do this move or use that as a crutch. Like, I go through this whole routine. Well, that's not really dancing. Because the girl isn't following, you're not leading, like the girl and the guy could do their own dances independently of each other. So you're not really working as a team. Uh, and I think it's just more fun to be random. And, oh, fuck it, here we go. So anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, go ahead. If you're enjoying it, cool. Um, otherwise, if uh, I'd recommend getting out to actually some street dancing. Don't get worked up if you don't know at all. Everyone sucks at ballroom dancing right off the bat. No one's perfect. So don't don't worry about that. Uh, but yeah, dude, just have fun with it, and um, you know, if it's expensive, it's not in your budget, just go street dancing, go find, you know, maybe pay a cover charge for, for a dance, but um, if, if you're near a larger city, you should be able to find it for free, um, depending on whether or not there's, it's popular, they kind of go through cycles, but if you're in a population of a million people, you'll probably find enough ballroom dancers. Anyway, best of luck, hope that helps, toodles.